Welcome, agents, to strain number 06 TFA of the Zero Point Report, a broadcast all about the news surrounding the Secret World IP. Today is Thursday, September 26th, and I'm your host for this evening, Ocho. Uh, with me tonight, we have Ember. Hey, how's it going? Not bad, not bad. And we have Jimmy the Rabbit. Hey, How are you guys doing? Uh, not much. I'm just uh, trying to break into Area 51 right now. Who isn't, though, really? <laughs> it seems yeah. fun. Didn't they actually have, like, a party outside? Like, it's... It was like it's kind of like they, they kind of changed it from instead of a uh, instead of a let's infiltrate Area 51, it turned into like a hey, we're gonna have food trucks or something. It was a small gathering of maybe like less than a hundred people. Yeah, I mean that sounds like some festivals I've been to, so that's not that's not terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to worse. It it wasn't it wasn't what it's supposed to be. It lost the spirit. Yeah. The spirit of let's infiltrate Area 51 and get the truth about aliens. The internet let us down. <laughs> Big surprise. Yeah, shocker. <laughs> shocker. Absolute shocker. No. Say, so, well, welcome to uh, Zero Point Report. We do have news uh, surrounding Secret World and Secret World Legends. Uh, a bit of news. I've got a whole bunch. I got a whole bunch of tabs open right now, so uh, we can get right into it. And the first piece of news, of course, going on in the game right now, is that we have a return of the Envoys of Avon event. It is the Autumnal Equinox. Andy posted on the forums. It said the Equinox returns uh, September twentieth through October fourth. So it's going on. Well, it says through October 4th. It's not. It's through October 5th. Uh, <laughs> the the dates are all kind of um, uh, a little haywire. It'll be turned off, I think. The it's through the, the through the it's the the morning of the 5th, which in, in all, like, I don't know about anyone else. Um, Jimmy not was standing, but I, I only game at night. So I only, I only count the nights that are involved. And in this case, October 4th for me would be the effective end date. But the event started September 20th at 9 a.m. And the event will conclude October 5th, uh, Saturday, October 5th at 9 a.m. So all through, all through October 4th. Uh, he, he puts out that it is upon us once more, agents. The real life autumn equinox arrives Monday, September 20. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the real life. Okay, the real life autumn equinox arrives Monday, September twenty third. Yes, that is right. Okay, to mark the occasion, the envoys of Avalon return to Agartha beginning tomorrow, September twentieth, and shall mingle with secret worlders through October fourth. Seek them out in the center of Agartha beginning nine a.m. EDT, and prepare yourself for a cult defense. In addition to the envoys' return, you may expect the following extras: a free scenario chest weekends which uh, one was last weekend. And then the second weekend, September 27th through October 1st. During these weekends, scenario chests won't require keys to open. So basically run, run as much as you want and you will actually get to open the chest every single time you do it. Bonus weekends begin 9 a.m. EDT on their respective starting days, uh, in this case, the 27th for the one upcoming, and end 9 a.m. EDT on their respective final days the first in this case so all through all through the end of september uh, also you could save 50 percent on all druids of avalon agent boosters through october 4th through october 4th and save 30 percent on all catalysts and imbuers also through october 4th and and uh <laughs> because the area 51 <laughs> Uh, you could also get the ninja sprint. What is it saying is the uh, percentage off on that? Uh, is, uh, well, 50, is 50, it is 51? Is it 51% off? 50 or 55. 55. I, I believe Andy, someone said that. Andy said he could only do increments of, of five. Ah, okay. Without, right. without needing like a programmer 50. to come in. Because <laughs> that was mentioned. That came up on the Discord. So close. So it's close enough. Close enough. It's 51 rounded up. So what does that make it? 
Like, uh, what is it? 90. 90 Aurum? Yep. 90 Aurum? That's it. Yeah. That is that is nothing. That's like less than a dollar. Which, even at the current exchange rate, which is three away from 300 <laughs> something, I think, right? Like, the exchange rate is super high. Uh, even at the rate it's at right now, which is 297 per Aurum, that's still only 26. 26 and a half K mark. Like, that's not a lot. Not even a day. You can get that in uh, one day's worth of play. Maybe two. Or, or two. Like, right. Okay, okay no. About, about 10,000 something per day, about 12,000 per day. Yeah, two days. Two days worth yeah. of playing. Yeah. That's assuming you're like flat broke, have zero right now. Which right. Is kind <laughs> which of is unusual. probably not the case. Most people have something. So I've got about almost uh, four, 450. So that's easy. I'm at 122, but that won't last. <laughs> I'm all, I always spend it. I'm, I'm still irritated that I I, um, I, I flipped it in Buer and, and bought uh, enough packs of the f new agents, the Freemasons, to get five agents out of there. And I already had all five. <laughs> Which gives you a grand total of 20 hex coins. Ugh. At 4 hex coins per agent. And Freemasons are not even on the hex coin vendor yet. So I can't even I can't even save up coins to buy Agent Sentence. I'm gonna I'll I'll end my rant there. <laughs> I expect they'll come at some point. It was the same. It was the same originally for South Africa. South Africa originally, like you, you couldn't get them on the vendor. You know what I mean when they were when they were new. Okay, yeah. And they they did add them eventually. I did not crash. Yay! I locked up for like a couple seconds, but I did not crash. <laughs> That's always a good sign. I was fully expecting to crash. That's why I said that. <laughs> Because I saw like the you know the blue circle, I was like, oh no. Yeah, so I haven't got, got the whatever latest needs. latest update from Nvidia because I've heard some people on the brand brand new one are having crashes again. Um, uh, so far, I have not. I have I'm on the latest because I have. But the one right before that, for sure, has been fine. But I've heard from a couple of people that it seemed like they went to the new one and had some. I've been oh, having some weird issues in other games, like uh, like one one of the other games I've been playing. My entire system will freeze, like everything will freeze, and then when I Alt Tab out of the game that I'm playing, boom, it's just fine, and, and the that, system just comes right back. Yeah, I had that with uh, Sea of Thieves, where I'll get a message that says my uh, video card has ran out of memory. I'm like, uh, what? Yeah, that's yeah, a problem. wait a minute. Yeah, explore completely. That's a crashes. that's a big leak. Yeah. yeah. But so far, I have not got it because I'm up. I'm upgraded BIOS and the motherboard, and then all the GPU is the latest up uh, drivers. So far, you know, knock on wood. So far, knock on wood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> on other news, did you guys see what the hell they did to the Twitch interface? Ugh. I haven't fully checked it out. I do see it looks bigger or it looks it, it's changed in obs as well like the chat is this black box with this it's white weird text. i'm not i i don't like change i don't like change <laughs> <laughs> like i i refreshed my browser this morning like watching a stream and then all of a sudden like it was very very white with black because i was in the light uh theme mm -hmm. it was instead of like having like some light gray it's like white white with like black icons yeah. and i'm like what the fuck just happened <laughs> It it looks, it does it looks like something from the early two thousands. It's it's not even like it's that horrible, but like I prefer like, so like I don't like the dark theme because I don't like trying to read text on black in chat. So I was go I, I usually stay on the light theme just for reading the, the well, chat. It wasn't so bad because it wasn't it wasn't flat black. It was like a a gray, or no right. It was a, it was a dark color, but with the, the text was a, a, a lighter gray, so it wasn't like so harsh. Yeah, so now it's like they went too extreme. 
Like, you have dark mode, which has, like, fucking neon text on... Or you have the light mode, which is now, like, super bright white. Yeah, nuclear white. Whereas, like, the text box might have been white, but, like, the rest of it have, like, kind of, like, a soft light gray, you know, background on some, some bars and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I must say, never never use bright white. Just go, yeah, gray. <laughs> yeah, it's just Like, so even a light gray is, is monumentally better than bright it's white. It's web design 101. Intern yeah, because it. it's like now I can use my monitor as a fucking nightlight. <laughs> you know what I mean? And all so that you're watching is... someone stream, and all of a sudden you see their face like brighten, like glow. Yeah, you don't need you don't need key lights. You just use your monitor. Exactly. But no, yeah, the dark to, mode to is is like the chat is a complete black, with white harsh white text, and then on the left side where your follow list and people that you follow, that's a, a dark gray. So there's like two different colors. It's just, it doesn't Damn look you, good. Twitch. So I don't know. I, I haven't been using the, um, I've been using the chatty app or the chatty program. So I haven't actually seen any changes to the, <laughs> to oh. the chat. Yet. Yeah, I mean, I, it's I, still, I, it's I still white for me. It's still yeah. like a light gray. Uh, go into your, your following. Not only do you have the following header at the top, but you also in the page it says in very large font size it says following oh, that's a huge font yeah just in case you didn't know you were in the following page that's right <laughs> I, I just try to be like i'm not at like 125 percent uh you know um view here it's like let me let me let me shift this down <laughs> something a little more doable like 75 percent yeah i saw on twitter somebody said oh i'll fix that and they stretch it across like it's almost like 1080. <laughs> <laughs> Following. Yeah. Be like, could could people not see that? Are you expecting people to see that from their television or something? Like 20 feet away? You know what? That's probably what they're thinking because they do have a Apple TV mm -hmm. app coming up. That's in the uh, I, test pilot. I um I have one for my Samsung TV. There yeah, was one too. on the actual Samsung thing by the, the Russian guy, and then mysteriously one day it was gone. <laughs> yeah, no, that's presumably because Twitch is going to make one, and they're like, "Oh, this is unofficial," and they just yanked it off of the Samsung thing. Yeah, a lot. But of I went through a... because it's the the reason why the colors are are the way they are is because of OLEDs. Because you mm. don't have to push any uh, pixels; don't have to be on if it's the dark theme. Right, right, gotcha. So, like, I went through a bunch of who. Uh, there's there's someone made a Twitch app for for Samsung TV. You just have to like sign in to like the developer program or something, mm -hmm. and it go through a bunch of hoops. But uh, the program like is already there. So my kid watches uh, kid watches Overwatch on the TV upstairs all the time. <laughs> He's my three year old really likes oh, watch Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> As I know, I feel that because, uh, like, uh, um, Baby Ocho has been like he's been he's been saying phrases and and whatnot, but he hasn't been the biggest talker. And suddenly, he has completely one hundred percent entered that parroting phase, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. where any phrase we say, he'll just say right back to us. Yeah, and it's now like, you gotta oh, watch no. what you say. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. My, mine's like it, like so, and that, and this happened pretty early. He's like a like has this reverse parody where like he says something and won't stop saying it until you say it back to him. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like it's like said parrot is like you said something he copies you like okay that's but that's what he's says, doing, yeah. Like if he says, you know, Mars because he's in, in space right now. If he says Mars, like if you don't say it back, he'll just keep saying Mars. Mars, 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 like Mars, and then he stops. <laughs> like, okay, fine, all right, I'll say it. Like, you have stop, to stop taking him. me hostage. <laughs> you have to pair him, or it doesn't stop. And he'll he doesn't seem to have a limit, by the way. I say right now was it uh, the when he started doing it? It was all uh, just one day. Just actually, it was like maybe two, three days ago. He literally started, and. Um, he did it in a way that just I lost it. I just lost it. I was in the kitchen cleaning up, and my wife was with him in the in the living room, and he like knocked something over. And my wife turned to him and she's like, "Are you serious?" And he turned right back to her and goes, "Are you serious?" And I just <laughs> lost it. I just 
you know, you know how Facebook does those, those like those memory things like yep. for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My wife did one the other day, and it was it was of my my uh, first kid, you know, when he was a bit younger. And uh, he he gets and it's so weird. It's like a soapbox moment. He stands up on something in front of me and says, "You son of a bitch." <laughs> <laughs> he had it been like four or something but like clearly copying me saying that at some point you know mm-hmm. but it was just it was just the fact that there was like a box on the ground he stood up on to tell me off <laughs> <laughs> listen here you <laughs> you're like ah memories makes you wonder what would happen if uh, if social media was around when we were this young <laughs> I mean, what we would I'm be going pretty through. sure his first full sentence was, you're fat, Helen, because we used to watch American Dad together. And <laughs> so Roger the alien at one point says, you're fat, Helen. And like, literally, that was like his first full sentence. <laughs> Picked it up was, on that immediately. <laughs> it was, it was probably not the best first sentence, but it was hilarious. Hey, like, while, while we're doing this stuff, you guys want to actually do the Equinox? We can stuff? do an occult defense scenario. Yeah, we can do that. Like, like, could you come actually, like, find the, the giant? I don't know if we can find him or not. Mr. Fairgas Abernathy. It, it went that, uh, this is the, the one year, um, they did this event in the spring, but this is the one year anniversary of this event. Yes. And it was so popular when it first came out that everyone was surrounding Mr. Abernathy on the, on the first day that it came out. And then, um, no one could pick him. No one could pick him. Yeah. No one can get the, no one can get the quest off of him. So the very next day they, uh, they changed it so that he now towers over everybody else. Yeah. He had a growth spurt. He he definitely did. The late, late life growth spurt. Yeah. He had his, uh, broccoli. Or, or spinach. He kind of looks like a Popeye man to me. And I always, uh, I always love his, uh, um, his bio because it's something like he's, he's like he's a meek man who, uh, who's, who uses his words to great effect. Like he's a great orator, and uh, you know he's very elegant, and that's why he is the one. He's the, uh, the the primary envoy uh, of the druids. And he is used as a liaison to the secret world. Doesn't hurt that he's also like eight feet tall. <laughs> he he's uh, the Scotsman. Argumentative skills are legendary. Through or, oration his, and his encyclopedic knowledge of the Council of Minister's labyrinth of bylaws and ancient precedents, he has won the Druids of Avalon concessions that belie the smaller size of the. He's an eloquent public speaker, able to manipulate crowds with rhetoric. And, I'm pretty uh, sure my character only comes up to about his mid chest. He also has a photographic yeah. memory, which I'm assuming are all just down <laughs> angle shot. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> or he's just looking at the ground, right? Like, I just, he just has a photographic memory at the top of everyone's head. Like, I really know what people's bald spots look like. <laughs> That's why he's wearing a hat to make sure that his is covered up. Well, there's nobody that towers <laughs> over him. <laughs> but yet he's still self-conscious of it, which I think is uh it's kind of adorable. Did you guys all pick up the mission? I did, yes. Now, do you have the 5 wave or the 10 wave? I've got the 10 cuz I'm just starting I haven't done it yet. <laughs> like you, right? you yeah, but it's, do, do you need is it the equinox or is it the or... equinox reloaded or what what is it called? The further equinox. testing. Further testing, that's what it is. Uh the equinox. So you have the ten wave one as well. You <laughs> lazy bastards. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> so you so guys it's been do, rough, do you been a rough week for me. Wave one? Or do you want to start higher? I don't I don't care. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't really care. We can start at wave one. Yeah. Start wherever wherever you want to carry us, really. <laughs> yes. How far do you want to carry us? Wait, Vollmer? Vollmer, do you want to... Uh, I'll say we got three. Be... We can get more if anyone wants to come yeah. join us. I, I think Vollmer is still, uh, still a flabby, I think. 
Maybe? We were actually going to report on that, so we're going to report on that right now. Yes, yes. Vomer, uh, Vomer, Vomer, who is uh, uh, at Vomberd on Twitter, he posted that uh, today is a day I am now the number one revenant on the Secret World Legends leaderboard. So congratulations to Vomer for that. Vom and Vomer's he was rate. transformed into a filth bird. A uh, flappy or a bird. Bird of the zero point, point pathogen. And has not been changed back. <laughs> yeah, and everyone left for TwitchCon. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're not going to be changed until at least TwitchCon's over. Maybe next week. <laughs> Pretty sure they had a server restart in that time period, too, and you guys are still a bird, so. Yeah, yeah. I think Vomer's in uh, in the raid. Vomer, are you uh, are you busy, or would you want to come for health defense? Oh, you're not gonna be a bother. Never. More entertaining, really. Yeah, I mean, we got Jimmy. He's gonna be carrying us too. Wait for the animal. Oh, okay. You have that crashing on exiting the raid. I honestly feel super lucky. I don't have any of those issues. There, there's a common issue with the raid where some people can only exit a certain way or they will crash. And it varies from person to person which way is safe to exit. Interesting. Like, yeah. So, if Vomer said they've only had it once, but they exited well. So some people can exit through the well that appears, um, I think, after uh, Zabari leave. Um, some people, like, if they just they can just leave, and, it's like, some people, like, you would need to, like, vote to retreat. But then other people, if you vote to retreat, they crash. Or if they leave through the well, they crash. Like, it's not consistent. It's leaving the raid in some manner other than the one that works for you. <laughs> this feels like blowing on the Nintendo cartridge. Maybe it's just a random circumstance anyway. No, but it stays, no, the, the, stays the same works, for that. It stays <laughs> the same for that person. Right? Like, that's the weird part. It's like that that player's character somehow, like, there, there's an, uh, some kind of setting somewhere that's that's messed up. So, like, if they leave any way other than that one way, they crash. But another person has like a corrupted data somewhere else and if they leave anywhere any way other than this other way they crash which makes like when you're finished the raid and everyone's trying to leave a bit weird <laughs> because someone's like i need to vote to retreat and everyone's like don't vote to retreat that'll crash me <laughs> like no i need to leave via that or i'll crash <laughs> well let's go like, by the well no i'll crash <laughs> it's fixed by uh buying aurum that's my way. It's it. it's never it's never been an issue for me. I will say though, I was one of the people uh, back in TSW, I, which we I think was from. <laughs> there's the bird. <laughs> I think it was from being some of the first people to clear the raid. Uh, the nightmare raid back in TSW was like. Were you on the on the skates, Vomer? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think so. either the skates or the or the other thing. That was amazing. Yes. Also, Ember, you should you should um just poke your head inside the bird because there's a poke your camera in there. You'll That's you'll see like the secrets personal. of the universe. <laughs> I feel like we need bombers. Uh, um, yeah, uh, permission. Consent. <laughs> I'm just like, go stick my head in a random bird. Do, do you see it? Oh, like yeah, it? I see it. <laughs> <laughs> you got like, back there. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Well, at least, know, at least know you're still in there somewhere. Makes it a little less ominous that uh, maybe those who are transformed into birds of zero point pathogen they still exist. They still exist. Or just ate his head. 
Or just ate him. <laughs> One or the other. And it's been digested just for a thousand years. That's amazing. Well, it doesn't seem to be causing any harm, really. <laughs> like no, they didn't cost the magic like that. Oh, you can see the skates. Okay, go to cost the magic. <laughs> No, you can see the skates. I, I, I like that the skates are in the wrong place, but yet the trails that are coming from the skates are in the correct location. Yeah. Yeah, when you transform into things, weird, weird stuff happens. Uh, let's see. You know, let's do, let's, we'll start at like wave. Screw it. Let's go like wave nine. I think, or no. Can someone not do wave nine? Oh, someone um, can't do wave nine. Probably me. I'm not quite sure what wave I could do up to. It's alright. Figure it out. There we go. Wave five. That's because we're elite, yo. Did I not? Did I not do private? I thought I did private. Hold on. I would say, occult defense fully scales to the number of uh, people you have in your group. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. So if you have four people instead of five, it'll scale just fine. Yeah, four. Actually, four people means that uh, you'll, if you haven't seen them, you'll get to see. Uh, uh, healer? Oh. No, like, like, like they're like mini bosses you only get when you're a group of four or five. And they have, there's different ones for different monster groups. And they have like different effects. Like they're, they're, they're intended for the group to fight. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like just for groups, not solo players. Yeah. 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 They have mechanics that require like in team interaction. Someone hasn't clicked accept yet. I hit it. I have. I have. Is it this bird? Could be the bird. Bird. Bird's a word. Bird. 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 bird, bird, bird. bird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure we could have recited that more poorly. No. <laughs> that was interesting. What happened? Don't know. Bomber. Bomber seems to have. It, it, the bird is standing still. It is not as a non-animated bird. Oh, wait, there it goes. Oh, there there it goes. goes. Try again. You gotta poke the bird. I say we do have uh, more news, believe it or not. Quite a few, what? actually. The hell are you saying? Yeah, yeah. It's just it's more than a cult offense, believe it or not. What? Craziness. Most of it also comes from the community and 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 other games. Let's not lie here, but uh, that's part of what we do here on Zero Point Report. We'll report on anything really going on in the around the secret world. This is amazing. <laughs> now, what I really want to see, Bomber, is we need to get the the boots buff, and then you can fly. Ooh! You'll be able to fly. Hey, Bloodwed! Bloodwed in the chat. Bloodwed. Uh, part of our news also includes Bloodwet as well. And a happy evening to you as well. As we go about having fun with occult defense. Recommend environmental awareness. Initiating Titan simulation. Teamwork recommended. Oh, we got a Titan! Booty in prison. Huh? Uh. Are you free yet? No. I can't. There's well, nothing there to damage. Seconds. Oh, okay. It might have changed that. Oh, look, there's the boots. Go get it. Bummer, go get the boots in the center. Go get the boots. Closing portal. Bomber's like, I'm actually doing a cult defense, guys. <laughs> I can, I can I'm it. playing the game. <laughs> no, 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 no. There, I got it. You can jump. 
Fly, Bertie, fly! <laughs> I don't have my sound up, so I don't even know where they're coming from, so... Use the mini map to the orange markers. Well, yeah, I, see, I know that. But once they come out, I have no idea where they are. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> this, also this that sounds like something a mom would say. Once they come out, I got no idea where they. Are. I got no idea. Those kids today. Also, no this, respect, this I tell you. No we respect. Got a Volmer coming in. That's like, oh, is it? Oh, that's it's Volmer. Recommend environmental awareness. So in case you don't know what the occult hey, defense scenario the is, it is uh, it is an event that they turned on. I'm not damaging these guys at all. <laughs> it is an event that they turned on uh, not before last year. The Envoys of Avalon uh, was not the initial conception of the event. Wait, what are you saying? That Envoys of Avalon, they didn't launch it. They launched it before Envoys of Avalon last year. Oh, the Occult Defense, you mean? Yes. It is basically a protect the center scenario where groups of, I want to say up to five. Yeah. Uh, groups of up to five uh, basically can fend off waves of baddies, in this case we got vampires. Boss incoming. Boss spawn. Good luck. So yeah, that, the Titans and the, uh, the more you keep them out of the center, uh, every time they get into the center, they start damaging. Wave completed. Vote to increase this is difficulty. this is the best part, by the way. Exercise. The fact that after three minutes, you can stop. It's true. And just hang out and pick whether to loot or proceed. It's like one of the single best. I always wanted this for secret reserve scenarios back in TSW. Oh, yeah. The, the fact that after a wave, you can actually just stop and take a breather and if someone needs to use something. Well, that's because this is meant. This one is meant to go as long as you can. And yeah. so, uh, so, right, so after uh, about three minutes, it's it less than that. So it's, no, I think it's like three, three and a half. Three and a half so minutes. Watch, we'll see. Both for the next um, wave. <laughs> Three twenty. Ready yourself for stronger enemies. Uh, that, yeah. Three minutes and twenty seconds for each wave. Uh, each wave gets progressively harder as it goes on, and Ghost. you just go as many waves as you can, or just do as many waves as you want. You have the you have the option to. And the loot chest at the end. Cost one scenario key whether you've done one wave or twenty waves. So you you can get a lot of value for one scenario key if you just stay in here and keep pushing forward. But also, even if you don't feel like, um, if you don't feel like you know, if you're doing it for other reasons other than just loot, you can just keep doing it as much as you want. If you were just wanting to get up the number of waves that you've done or get up the number of yeah. times that you've completed it. You don't have to actually pick up the uh, the chest at all. This is true. But as we mentioned, the coming this weekend is a scenario, is a uh, free key, free scenario key weekend. Group challenge spawn. I missed. <laughs> Titan. So that uh, you can just go in, do one wave, leave, and pick up all the chests you want. Holy skull! Oh, I have something on me. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have no like noticed this, but some people aren't aware that like they don't have to attack the Hagstone; they just have to be in this inner circle. Right. As as long as a bad guy, I mean, they do attack it, but just as long as they're in the inner circle itself, they damage the Hagstone. Yeah. What's interesting, which I I probably noticed in the past, I just forgot, but more recently I re-noticed, is if they do make it to the center. 
uh, runes light up red on all these stones. When he's taking damage. Yes, yes they do. That's, uh, as far as I know, it's been that way since the beginning. No, it has. I just, uh, it's one of those things like you don't necessarily always know this. Well, how often when you play do they actually get to the center? <laughs> it happens. I feel like you wouldn't notice it <laughs> if it just doesn't happen that often. Yeah, it's a way to just say that if you're outside to notice quickly that, yes, you're being attacked. There are people inside there. But it's nice. It was a it was a great addition to the game, I feel. Kind of gave more to do for scenarios, because especially we had uh, Seek and Preserve. And Seek and Preserve. Removing attack vector. Portal closed. So it kind of gave more to do in scenarios itself, and something that didn't take as long. Because even though they reduced the, number, the time on Seek and Preserve uh, scenarios, because the original Secret World was like, each time you did it was about 15 minutes or so. Still good? Keep going? Yeah. yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, why not? So we do have, um, oh, we gotta do 10 waves. 10 waves today. Um, so it's 10 waves for the first time you do it, and then five waves each additional time you do it. Yeah, for for the and that's just for the that's just for the equinox like bag, which can give you a certain talisman that you can only get there. Uh oh, uh oh. So portals, something else is interesting. When you, everywhere. when you grab a buff in the center, it gives it to everybody in your group. So like in, in group mode, one only one person has to run to the center to grab a buff, and then everyone will have that same buff applied to them. Which is nice. Kinda nice. I did not know that. Yes, yeah, so you basically you can like kind of have someone that's not fighting something yet so they don't have aggro they have sprint they can just run in, in and grab a buff real quick and you can see it it's the little things flying towards the center when you kill something that means a buff is about to appear Closing portal. Defend the occult focus. So focused. Group challenge spawned. Beware the team. Ooh, we got another gen. Haha. <laughs> Good teamwork. Another buff. Well, not everyone gets to bring a flappy with them into a call defense. Very true. We don't all have pocket flappies. Yeah. I mean, that's it's amazing. Here. You guys take north and I'll take south. South is dead. Up. 
So, like I said, we do have more news uh, as, as we play a Cult Defense. Uh, we do have more news to share. Taking away all of our... Invasion leader created. Oh, dude, we got a boss incoming. The boss. <laughs> well, he was here for a second. <laughs> Almost didn't see him. <laughs> uh, this next piece of news is basically from... It's basically... It's from Knightsbridge Consulting. They posted on Twitter to join us Saturday, September 28th for Lore. They're delighted to feature the musical selections of Fleetwood Smack this month. Fleetwood Smack? Good, why not? It said, as always, they begin at 7 p.m. GMT. It's a meetup on Nixa or Maya Huel and listen in at Mixler slash Multifarium. So yes, yeah, so I back to school lore edition. Initiating overkill protocol. Going on uh, on Saturday. Say so 7 p.m. GMT. That's like 2 p.m. Eastern, I think. Oh, it's the brood mod. I was like, what is that? That's the other type. Say, so what are these? What are these floating pink balls? So okay, so their enemies that uh, that will explode when they reach the center, but if you kill them, they turn into activatable bombs. They have a chain uh -huh. And there's an achievement, by the way, for killing one of your teammates with them. <laughs> so don't run into them. If anyone needs it, I, I do give myself up as a uh, as a sacrifice. Oh, I I, I have all those achievements. So I was to say, if you want to kill me. You, uh, you can just activate one of those. You just have to like click the Come left here. button. Come here, Jimmy. Come here. They didn't kill me. Wait, maybe killed me. Now. Right. killed me. Did you get the achievement though for killing me or no? I got the well, yes, I did. I did get the achievement. Nice. I'm down to late. Not sure if it killed me or. Swarm behavior engaged. No. Don't let any pass. Does killing yourself count? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's like, because you activated and it killed me. So, uh, Ember, if you want that one, I think is there. An, there's another group of uh, bombs over here. Uh, I there's call them... one. There's one in the center too. There we go. There's a. Uh... Where... Oh, there we go. I call them human soul bombs because if you have the agent switcher mod. Can you target them? Uh, Portal shut down. It puts it on the human agent. Funnily enough, so does the gatekeeper. You use the the agent that gives bonus damage against humans. Uh, is what gets picked when you. Oh, the brood mother's here. Look, look at the little, um... Oh, you killed them all. <laughs> Sorry. The little Ember, brindling. activate the bomb. Ember, activate the bomb. I am. Ah, oh, not enough bombs. We need bigger booms. <laughs> I don't get one shot by those anymore. I think the one with, uh... The Mighty we did work because, like... Six of them detonated or something? Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> and so this is your Hagstone restoration item. Every every other wave this will spawn once you repair the Hagstone. Our Hagstone seems to be doing just fine. Well Bomber said it'll sacrifice on the on the bomb over there if you want number. He might be more well, no. Actually, you know what you should do? You should get uh, Mikey to go stand there. His health is lower. Oh, yeah, no. I only, I only got 5k health. Because it will it might actually kill him. Because it's got to one-shot him. If it doesn't one-shot him, it's not going to work. Okay. All right. For you, you Ember. Run, For you. you. Oh, 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 so close. What? 
It dropped me down about 4,000 hit points. Yeah, like 300 health. So I would do another wave anyways. Like, I'm sure we'll get some more. Uh, next piece of news. Um, I also saw that DJ Kemic on, uh, on Twitter also posted that on Sunday, he'll be reading the, Love, the Lovecraft classic Pikmin's Model. That describes what happens when an artist will go to any length to explore and convey the worst horrors imaginable and unfathomable, and will be doing so around Boone's Fire in Kingsmith on Sunday the 29th at 2200 CST, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Mixler's Happy Tentacle Radio. And I thought that was super cool. What you can do, by the way, to make the bombs thing work is you can drag them to the other bombs instead of just killing them. I just thought of that, yeah. Now you can move them? Yeah, once you once you attack them, you can run and they'll follow. You can kind of like group them together. Uh -oh. There's actually an achievement for um, getting like, what is it, like six different ones to chain. Uh, chain explode. Stop following. Or, or no, he's just moving very, very slowly. Yeah, they don't move super fast. I think this was a Titan. There we go. I got two of them, two of them together over here. Clearing time and space, a new one. Portal opened. And the bombs last like I want to say like five minutes or something. I'll say they'll last well into the end of a wave. So they'll last last in, like a wave, at least another wave for sure. Of a damage buff from the eggs. Embers have died. Simplifying scenario. Removed portal. Ember the tank. <laughs> I'm here, I healed you with clean slate. <laughs> oh, okay. I love clean slate. Protect the occult focus. I healed its scales based on attack rating instead of heal rating? Yes, please. Yeah, clean slate's the best. The best. The best around. <laughs> So used to doing these solo, I forget. Like when you do them grouped, like you get way more spawn. Way points. more, yeah. <laughs> they're everywhere. Like the number of enemies isn't bad. It's just the number of different directions they can come from. You know what I mean? That increases dramatically. They like work as a group, so we're going to separate all of you. <laughs> You should be like halfway there. Okay, so you said you had a. Did you say you had two groups here? Where did you have two groups of bombs? Uh, over, over by over the entrance. On the other side. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So if Ember comes over here and activates, then the one group will explode and chain explode the other one, and then you should get the. Alright, Mike, you ready? I'm all set. <laughs> Go ahead. There you go. Yeah, I killed myself too. <laughs> I'm a bad person. <laughs> Very yeah, nice. I was gonna say, you know, you can run out of it, right? Like only they have to die. It. <laughs> Why? Well, it's a pact, you know. It's a joint. It's a team effort. It's a yeah. team effort. <laughs> he goes, we go. <laughs> We're in this as a team. There's, we die as a team. I want to say, I took you guys in here before though, right? At some point? Yeah, I think. when it first came out. Uh, 
Did, did I show you guys the jump in a tree part? It's an achievement for jumping in a tree. Yeah. Yes, yeah, I still haven't doing got it. that though, because I'm always confused as to which tree it is. And I think I think I've got the right tree, but then I always miss. It's this one. Um, is this one right here? Yep, that's the one I always go jump. to. Yeah. It's a, it's either yeah I think it's yeah yeah it's that one. I've always uh every time I've got it, I've jump. tried and just keep missing and then it ends. So. You jump into the V. <laughs> Jimmy! Uh, what? You don't like jumping into the V? <laughs> this is a family friendly show. <laughs> is it though? Has it ever been, really? No. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Double entendres everywhere. So, our next piece of news. Uh, have you, have you, haven't had the chance to pick up the unofficial Legends of the Secret World yet? Well, there is exciting news. You can get all three novels that are currently out in ebook format in the Templar Omnibus Edition, which is currently being sold on Amazon to catch up just in time for the release of Into the Inferno, the fourth Secret World novel by our favorite Bloodwind Mallory. As opposed to the other Bloodborne now. That is not favorite. The secret twin. <laughs> but it's a right, we hate her. <laughs> right, we hate her. There's no room for an imposter. Evil so we have a fourth, a fourth novel, Into the Inferno, coming up. Modified and uh, that's exciting. Always exciting. Right in time, again, for our, our favorite month. October. Yeah. Now, is it going to be early October or late October, Bloodwood? Do you have a date on that yet, or are we just not sure? Applying tactical evolution. Soon. Strong, long -range threat. TM. Yeah. <laughs> Mid to late. Mid to late. Okay, that's good. The best part of October. I always feel like Halloween isn't so much a single day. Right? What freaks me out is, uh, I think, what was it? Lowe's already has like a Christmas shelf up or something? I'm like, seriously, guys? There's Halloween stuff, but like, there's a Christmas rack up already. What the shit? It's not even Halloween yet. Now, if you go to like, like right, Barrel, let let Halloween go first. Yeah, if you go to like Cracker Barrel, there's the Halloween, and then there's like holiday stuff, like up, beginning of September. This is crazy. Initiating supernatural weaponry. Oh, well, they can get away with it, and people buy it. That's why it keeps happening. Yep. Oh, here's a whole cluster of bombs. And see, the thing is, like, these, too, is, like, you know, if you start to get big packs, you can actually kite them into those and then use them to kill them. Super useful. Right, use them to kill mobs. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. As opposed to killing <laughs> It hardly seems worth it. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I ran over and my first thought was, wait, do we get the filth bird or the, oh, the spider, the spider, right, right. That's, that's what I've been doing all night, it's like, oh, there's something, no, it's this ball. Right? <laughs> there's a filth bird over there. Oh, wait, 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 that's right, yeah, wait, 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 no, no, that's, that, that's our friend, wait a minute, that, that's okay. Say, Bloodwood says, definitely, definitely out before, uh, Salmon T. 
Yeah, what the hell is attacking? That is good. Don't die. Initiating Titan simulation. Teamwork recommended. So, so Vomer, when you um, when when you die, you still come back as the filth bird, right? Oh yeah. yeah. When you log on to the character screen. <laughs> yeah, it's a show in your character screen. Oh, snikes! I got this. That hurt. There you go, guys. I, I got it. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Teamwork. Oh, yep. boots! Jump boots. in a tree! Jump in a tree! Go, go, go! I'll, I'll get the guys. Go jump in a tree. Uh, uh, get in the V! Then just stay up there. Stay up there. Okay. Don't do anything until it triggers. I missed again. <laughs> again. I'm in a tree. You got it. Yep. Well nice. done, Ember. I <laughs> like. It's like if you look at the achievement, it's like, and this helps you how? <laughs> yeah, how do you do this? Like if you go look in the achievement window for like what it says under it, it's, it says something silly like, you know, what was this supposed to do? Good for you, yeah. Which is, if you're, uh, if you're an Illuminati player, that's pretty much every report that comes back from Kirsten Geary. Yeah. Like, so much what are you doing out there? <laughs> you're doing origami? Get back to work! Uh, Revenant. We have two Revenants. We have two Revenants. I count three. Uh oh. Did they, that one flickered away. That's not good. You can't let them flicker away, because then when he comes back, he's stun ambush. He can actually kill you, really. Like he just did me. Oh, we got more boots. Bastard. Here, I'll, I'll get boots. this guy boots. and then you can get the boots. Get the boots. Go get your tree. Go get your tree. I'm running over as fast as I can, but since I'm in combat, it's not really that fast. <laughs> you should be out now, I think. Nope. Nope. I'm being attacked by zombies. Oh. I missed it again. <laughs> Damn it. Sorry. <laughs> they spawned right by the tree. <laughs> they spawned right next to it, though, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Wasn't really. Wasn't really a fair fight. Yeah, as soon as you see it, it's like, boots, boots! <laughs> Defense successful. Select whether to increase difficulty and continue, or to halt exercise. So, and then we have some uh, non-Secret World Legend news that has been going on. Uh, right now, the major news is that Conan Unconquered, uh, Erling Ellenson, uh, posted this. That they've reduced the price from Conan Unconquered, which is a real-time strategy, uh, game set in the, the Conan universe. They reduced the price from $30 to $19.99 permanently. And they've rolled out a big new update, uh, improving the game, and a free weekend will kick off this weekend. So check out the updated trailer, which was posted by Erling on, uh, on Twitter, uh, showcasing Bellet's Fury, which is the, the latest update, which adds a new character beyond just Conan and... I forget the name of the pirate queen, but now they have another pirate queen named Bellet. Well, I think it's also because it was uh, Talk Like a Pirate uh, earlier this week. Was it Talk Like... It was Talk Like a Pirate Day. That is, that yeah. is correct. No, you're frozen. I wasn't sure if they did that on purpose or not, though. And I, I'm not sure they knew if they did it on purpose. Yeah, because a lot of games... I know Jen, Jen were, was uh, talking like a pirate. <laughs> he was indeed, so, yes. It was that. Yeah, cause but was, I saw where he was like... He's like, oh yeah, talk like a pirate day. He's like, oh yeah, and it's kind of pirate... Yeah, oh, look at that. Which could be anything. <laughs> it could be they planted, it could also be not. Boots! Boots! 
Go get your boots. Go get your boots. boots. Get out. Get my boots on. Go, go, go. Get into that V. Portal shut down. <laughs> get up. No, the other V. Get up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Killer protocol engaged. Watch your back. Nope. No. Oh. Missed again. <laughs> Dang it. Removing attack vector. Portal closed. <laughs> like just letting things sit in the center. Like, <laughs> just like, it's more exciting. <laughs> oh, I think one of them fell from the door. Don't go into the middle, vampire. Stay with me. So just as I alluded to before, uh, it is also a Conan free weekend. That means any product that has Conan going on with it. I'm frozen. Is free on Steam. Activating magic eight ball. Seek and destroy. I'm frozen and on fire. That hardly <laughs> seems fair. <laughs> Frozen and burning. Freezer burn. So, uh, starting Thursday, September 19th. Wait, no. No, this already passed. This was last weekend. Dang it, never mind. So it's starting Thursday, September 19th and going through September 22nd. Nope, forget it. That was last weekend. So, they're no longer free to play on Steam, but uh, Conan Exiles was 50% off, Conan, Un uh, Conan Unconquered was 30% off, uh, but the price has been permanently reduced, and uh, certain benefits also were in Age of Conan as well. Didn't realize that had already completed. Dang me. If anyone has a hack zone repair thing, feel free to use it on the hack zone. It's like half dead. I, say, I haven't picked one up yet, so if you got it, use it. I thought Ember grabbed one, but I'm not sure if you already used uh, it. Don't see it. It's it, like the little red mission item with like the circle thing. Oh. Our Just go up to the hack zone and hit use. Like the, the to double click it or hit shift, whatever. The to key. actually use the item, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. There we go. And I'll use nice. It picked up. Nice. There we go. Give us a little buffer. It's just getting harder. <laughs> That's what she said. But up, up, but up, up. Prepare for more danger. So, and then right. yesterday, Funcom posted, uh, they said, last week we have a new person joining us at the Oslo office, Dima. Um, I'm not quite sure their last name. They're just Dima. I think it says Dima. Uh, Dima is the new senior gameplay programmer on the Dune project. So if you're looking forward to Dune, as uh, a lot of us are. Why wouldn't you be? Why wouldn't you be, right? Uh, he's now the senior gameplay programmer on the Dune project. He used to work at G5 Entertainment before moving to Norway and joining the Funcom family. So I always, uh, when they post stuff, I always think it's just a good reason to be like, hmm, can I move to Norway? Right. <laughs> So welcome Dima, and uh, Applying tactical yeah, bring bring out uh, bring out Dune. Let's play Dune. Let's get Duned up. Point. 
Protect the occult focus. That is another novel that I do plan on reading before <laughs> before it comes out. Sadly, I have not Wait. actually read Dune either. Read a novel before it comes out. <laughs> Wait, there's a novel attached to the book? <laughs> attached to the game? No, I was referring to how you're going to read a novel before it comes out. That's what I was going to get. Oh. <laughs> not before the novel comes out. This is a impressive trick to read a book before it comes out. Defense specialist deployed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Revenants. So many revenants. Hey, I just got the kill 50 revenants achievement. Nice. <laughs> Farmer would be proud. <laughs> Let's get this guy out of the middle. Don't fight him in the yeah, middle. Yeah, take him out. Oh, don't manny him in the middle. It's not gonna be good. Simplifying scenario. Removed portal. Okay, which one is the boss? <laughs> Not the fire throwing people. Oh, the one I'm uh, attacking? Yeah, there you go. When you're attacking. Yeah, I saw the three skulls on the map. I was like, wait a minute. Which one do we go towards? When I aggro. Uh, the other ones tend to not move as much. That's usually how you can tell. Yeah. Or that one wasn't even facing the right direction. Yeah, they're just like, they did like the, their mortar things. They just stand there and lob fireballs. Woot! Go to continue simulation at a higher difficulty or end simulation. No more boots. It was like, sorry, you're done. You're yeah. done trying out. You're <laughs> done trying to get in a tree. You had your three chances. Good luck next time. Yeah. Your achievement is in another tree. Gary <laughs> gave you, you gave more than enough chances. You're done. The drawing wave is harder for some reason. I don't know if they have more resistance or what. Spawning arcane singularities. Stability not bombs. Damage. Second late on that ability. <laughs> hey, you tried. I waited for it though. I waited for it to. <laughs> I was like, all right, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. They're already dead. <laughs> These guys are already dead. <laughs> They're already dead. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome to the party. Yeah, I'll get these guys. Don't worry. It's, oh, good. Wait. it's a good thing I was here. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I say no. I can't even really say that with a straight face. <laughs> Not on wave ten. It's weird playing healer. <laughs> like I'm just saving my clean sleep whenever you guys look really low. I've missed Ember a couple of times. Like I started to cast like right right as he died. Yeah. I just I just saw my uh, health just go just disappearing. I'm like, well, this is the end. Hey, but we pulled them to keep them out of the center. We're, we're yeah, I mean, the first line of defense, and really, that's that, that that's that's the main thing. Like, I I can I can kill like anything fairly quickly. I think Bomber's doing pretty decent damage as well. 
seems like. Not Our sure teamwork is yeah, just keep them out of the middle. The actual Wait, purpose. I of... healed you and you still died. What happened? I don't know. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> like I, le I legit That's did a clean slate while you were still alive, and then it's like, nope, you're dead anyways. See, I'm a pro. It's pro player. So it's the skills right there. You have to die while being healed. <laughs> True DPS. I stand in this fire, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the place to be. <laughs> oh my god, my kid said something. I forget what he said, like, just like yesterday. But the way he said it was in the same intonation as that. You know what I mean? Like, he said it with that same... And I don't think he's ever heard that phrase or seen it. But he said it with that same pattern. Which is almost hilarious. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, dude, was he like, was it imitation? Because no, I mean, yeah, I, I'm, he's been like on a big solar system kick. Like, it might have been like solar system, but it's like you know what I mean. It's like the same <laughs> fucking phrasing, just not the same word. And I was, it cracked me up. I've been on a solar system kick for a long time. I love me some solar system. Oh, they're both, they're both crazy, man. I keep freaking six-year-old talking about the Kyber Bell naming all yep. kinds of, of plants and asteroids and crap that I have no fucking clue about. And the, the three-year-old, too. Like, three-year-olds will start rattling off, like, moons and dwarf planets that I don't know nice. at all. <laughs> I'll say, I'll give you, I'll give you a nice fact. This is one of my, uh, I've got a couple of really, really oh. fun, uh, I know what it was. What? UI Scuddy. <laughs> UI Scuddy is like a, it's like a moon or a star or something. Well, it's not a star. <laughs> like, that might be a star. Wait. Like UI, like capital U, capital I, space mm. Scuddy. I think it's S C U P I. Like if you Google that, it's some kind of like. I don't know, moon or dwarf planet or something. It's it's some it's something. Oh, the largest star in the universe. Is that what you asked Goody it? Yes. Yeah. So he said that with the same like phrasing as Leroy Jenkins. You ask. <laughs> I was like, what the I was gonna say that that's a new one. I did not know that. Okay. All right. I'm telling you, man. They're, he they're might both. know more than I do at this point, then. <laughs> Uh, so, but one of my favorite facts, and this is you, you can use this to possibly maybe blow his mind if he already if he doesn't know it already. It's one of my favorites. I actually said this at a we went to a relative, it wasn't a planetarium, but it was like a science center, and they had like you know oh ch hit the button and change the change the big projection that we have in front of us into the into the planet, and it pulled up Jupiter. And so I was with Baby Ocho, and I was like I was like oh Jupiter like you see the uh, has a you know hexagonal pattern. At its northern and uh, either northern or southern poles, but it has a hexagonal storm that goes on there, as well as a big red spot, which has you know been going on for centuries. Right. Uh, but one of my favorite facts about Jupiter, and this is the one that the fact that I said that actually got other people around me to turn around and go, wait, wait, what? Could you like repeat that? Was I was like, Jupiter does not actually orbit the sun. Yeah. It does not. It it. Uh, what it does orbit is it orbits the barycenter between Jupiter and the Sun, which is the point at which their masses uh, combine. Kind of like a sledgehammer, you know, not all the weight of a sledgehammer is at the very tippy end of it, but it's kind of the way that it works. And uh, the barycenter between Jupiter and the Sun is actually outside of the Sun's surface. Huh. So Jupiter doesn't actually orbit the Sun. Instead, they both revolve around this barycenter and it's actually how uh, scientists can determine where exoplanets are. By watching a star's wobble, it tells them that giant planets are in that system. Interesting. Enough to make the star just wobble just a little bit. Oh, we got a boss of some kind. Phrenosis infection. That's an interesting one. 
So yeah, that's, that's one of my more favorite facts, is right. It's like, what planet does not actually orbit the sun? I think we're basically doing an E8 wave right now. Yeah, this is well above. <laughs> we're on wave, we're on wave 15. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's basically an E8. Modifying hostile behavior. Commander's commander! Off. We got a commander! Finally. Or well, we kept getting Titans instead. Easy peely, peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, we have two commanders. Fuck. Oh my god. I just that. looked at the mini map and it's just overflowing. Yeah, yeah we have bombs. Is... We have lots of bombs. Save it, Tom Cruise. <laughs> I detonated a bunch of bombs. Alright, guys, I'll take care of this. Swarm behavior engaged. Don't let any pass. You know what's funny? Is if you let the bombs reach the center and there's a bunch of things, the bombs detonate and kill the other ads that are gathered in the center. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like sometimes when it all goes to shit, if bombs are involved, it can actually sort of help you. Since... Do they take away the uh um the really, really slow moving mobs or are they still around? No, they're still around. I'm not sure why you guys are dragging everything to the center. <laughs> it just followed me here. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm trying. I'm just hitting at its back, and it's not even paying oh. attention to me. <laughs> Did I actually died. That guy hit me in the back. Oh, that guy hit me hard too. Well, I detonated the bomb, and I was running away. So the bomb. I think the bomb killed it. No, not quite. That was my my first uh, non-intentional death. Yay! Get off my lawn! Uh, did you guys finish your wave 10s? Yeah, I got to no? get off my lawn. Yep. yep. Oh, get off my lawn is for completing wave 15. And uh, Yeah, but is yes. your Equinox mission done? As much oh yeah, I completed oh, yeah. actually uh, last one. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, we're, this is the 11th wave that we've done. Oh. <laughs> uh, did you guys want to stop or you want to keep going until we just lose? Yeah, let's just keep going. Whatever. <laughs> That is the other nice thing about a cult defense is like you can't you can't like lose loot. You always get the loot box for the wave the number of waves prior to the one you failed on. You know what I mean? Yes, right. So if you yeah, if you fail a uh, a wave, you still get rewarded for everything that you've done up to that point. Right, exactly. Which is good. Cuz you'd hate to do a wave and suddenly it's just like, nope, you since you failed that one wave. Like, what? You guys have to click this Ridiculous. thing. Ridiculous. There we go. That's the other thing, it requires like a majority vote to uh, to start. So, like one person can't just... It's democracy. Yeah, one person can't just start the wave and you're like, damn it, I was trying yeah. to do something. <laughs> While everybody else is AFK. <laughs> yeah. So what wave have you got off to personally? What's your highest wave? Uh, I know I did 35. Since this is the one year anniversary. I, I, I did 35, actually 35 pretty early on. Um, Cause that's like the highest wave you get an achievement for is 35. I would say that's also, that's like a marathon. Yeah, because you can't start anywhere near that. Uh, the highest wave you can start on I want to say, I'm going to look real quick, I think it's 29. Yeah, you can start on wave 29. But all those waves are like crazy, crazy hard. You know what I mean? Like 29, it, it's like 35 is I think E15. I want to say. Or maybe even higher. Maybe it's, 
As I, I believe that's the way it was. Is right. E15 should be the top end of what you could person, what you could actually join. Oh, uh, hey, oh, he's over, he's like over here. Bombs. Yeah, I got it. Wait, do we have three revenue? Oh, no, one of them was probably my uh Don't don't get the don't get them. The 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 kamikazes or the green feet, don't get them. Fair. If you just leave them alone, they explode into tiny small circles and don't really do anything. They don't even make it all the way to the center. But if you aggro them, uh until the boots. Go get your boots. Get your boots. Uh, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'm just holding back this tiny mob over here. <laughs> well, I was helping with the other ones. Oh, you're just dead. Just run in and get the boots before the buff times out. I'll get the. I'll clean up the ads. That's the brood mother. Uh, Portal shut down. Spawn routines rerouted. Nope. <laughs> I'm just not jumping right. Yeah, are you? You might be jumping too close to the tree. Like you need a, like a little bit of space. Like otherwise, you just jump straight into the trunk. Which is probably like, what's going you need, on. You need a little bit of an angle, like a, like an uh, angle, an arc, right? You need an arc in your jump. That's now my goal. Until the end of a cult defense. <laughs> Just gonna do one wave, wait for the boots. That's right, wave one, do boots. Wave one, do boots. Yeah, that's right. Seems like a good... Good goal. Yeah, it's a good plan. Ouch! Holy shit! These guys hurt! I'll say also, a group is a little more than uh, a little harder hitting in general than. Uh, yes. Yes, especially four man. Especially four man. Four and five man, you know, they're, they're intended for like a. Like a a more normal group, like you, you know, you might actually have like a tank. What, what, are, you, what are you saying? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not tanking. I'm not hey, I'm tanking here. Right? I think. I guess. Are you tanking? Sure. That does not look like alpha tanking. <laughs> it's my tanking build. See? Is it? Yeah. What's your allocation though? Uh. It's a super tank. <laughs> super tank, super tank, he's super tanky, yow. It's so tanky, you don't you've never seen it before. 4K health is not tanky, my dude. Just saying. <laughs> As I believe I'm more tanky. And you, if you're gonna be tank, you you would have uh, like sustain things. That's what I got. Oh, we got revenants again. Come on, healer. <laughs> Wait, that's, <laughs> is that me? Is that supposed to be me? I, no, 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 he's, he's... Need heal. Wait, I have a shirt for this. Need heals. I don't even have a heal build. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just using clean. I, I have a sort of like a survival build, and I've got a couple commanders, of DPS builds. And that's about it. Oh, we need to find where the commanders are. There's shades like out in the. I see. I see one. I see one. I see his eyes. Oh, snikies. 
Guys, you can't all die at the same time. It's oh, not okay. Sheesh. We, we need a good I'm healer. I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, let's kick this healer that we got. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Ah, I got a revenant. This killed me. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, it's a spawn camping. Group challenge spawn. Beware the teeth. Who was I? An infected secret worlder. Okay. Well, that's, a, that's probably a titan. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know I'm not surviving this way. <laughs> yeah, well, right, so backstabbers. No! Boss spawn. Good luck. I know where he's running to. I'll just let him go. He's running towards me. Hey, how's it going? And I'm dead. Oh, we still. Like, have, oh, I know what doing? happened. Happened. We still have commanders. We're gonna lose. We still had a commander out in the fucking boonies sending, sending uh, ads in all the time. That's why the hackstone was going down so much. Why we had so much to fight. We so missed. I tried bringing down the one commander, but at this point they got so much health. <laughs> yeah. That was a good run. That was. That wasn't. Uh, that wasn't. Uh, no, we bad. did really good. Like, like opening your loot chest should probably overflow. I know mine is gonna overflow like crazy. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, I'm not sure I have the space in my. Uh... You just have to like use the distillates and then pick up the red bag. And then like if you're still out of room, then you use that stuff, run away from the bag, and run back. You know what I mean? You are the Tetris master. Well, no, so, like, the way the loot bag works, like, the overflow bag, when you loot it... Oh, I got an agent. Does anyone need Laughing Jenny? Uh, so the way the overflow bag works is, like, if once you loot it, if if there's still loot left in it, like, you, you overflow the second time, you can't grab the bag again. You have to actually run away and run back to be able to interact with it again. I'm, I'm just using as many distillates as possible. <laughs> <laughs> does anyone does, does anyone want this laughing Jenny agent? I say I don't have it. I don't think I've got laughing Jenny. Yeah. Do you have space for it? <laughs> I'm making it. I'm making it. Yeah, I got it. I mean, once you use the agent, it doesn't take your slot anyways. Hey, I got uh, Fear Gas Abernathy as an agent. Hey! Good dude, so, yeah. good dude, that fair gas Abernathy. What was the weight we ended on? It's like uh, 17? 17? Was that, I think it was 17. Wave 24, jeez. Yeah, so wave 29 is E15. And so 35 is significantly past that. Significantly past that. 35 is way yeah. hard. I believe the current record on the leaderboard was from all of. And Levski, maybe? I mean, I don't know if there was, I think it's just, I think it was a two man, I'm not positive. It was wave 44. Wave 44 is the, uh, I believe, the record. Which is freaking insane. Three man, three man, Bomber said. I, I hadn't looked at the leaderboard in a little bit. I knew, I knew of Molov's, it was Molov's group. I didn't remember who all, all the people that were. But if you figure that like each wave is essentially an, an E level, then what the hell is wave 44? <laughs> you know what I mean? So not, I'm sorry, not each wave, but each, each, it's every other wave is an E level? 
So only wave yeah, one. Every other one. wave, yeah. Wave three is E two. So wave wave twenty twenty nine is E fifteen. And then God damn. That's gotta be like Eve. Does anybody want What's any um, heart pendant gold? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get rid of them. <laughs> Still? I can't delete them. I'm pretty sure you could sell them to a vendor. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure. I think they changed it you could sell to a vendor. No, they were. Uh, they changed it you could sell to a vendor. I believe the, uh, the, the community fix was you made a junk cabal. And then threw them in that cabal, and then bank, and then left cabal. <laughs> There's like phantom black hole cabals out there full of heart pendant necklaces. That was uh, that was a good time when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Like that yeah. was that was the best. When all of a sudden our inventory best. kept getting filled up with because <laughs> uh, we were live, right? We were live yeah. when that was going on. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, it's Valentine. I think they even surprised the event on us. Like we didn't even know what was going on. It was like, oh, the the event started. It surprised and, Andy. And all of a sudden, everyone's like, wait, stuff's going on. We can't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, Andy replied on Twitter. That was amazing. Like, um, uh, what? <laughs> Uh, Andy, Andy, what's going on? My inventory's He's like, full. Uh, I can't get rid of this stuff. <laughs> we'll fix it in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and not doing, not touching that right now. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking of leaderboards, uh, the speedrun mod uh, is gaining in traction recently, past like week or so. It has its own leader, and uh, it's a pretty fun thing to do if you've done a lot of other stuff in in the game. And I was gonna say yes. Explain this mod. This is a this is a mod that that is available for Secret World. It's it's a mod like you would install any other mod. Correct. So far, so good. And it's a it's a speed running mod. So basically, it just uh, just tracks uh, time. It's a mod that just will yeah will track your time for how fast you can uh, do any mission. Yeah, it I, does, guess, like, I guess it's any mission. Time. It's not like any um, achievement. Right, correct. Because it has to be very set times for each thing. So when you accept a mission, a timer goes off. You go and you complete the mission, and then it uh, it'll tell you like how fast you've been for each tier, and then it will it will give you the leaderboard for who is uh, who is at the top of that tier. So you can try to be the fastest Secret World player. So I'll uh, I'll get put the links so so Ember can put them up. Here's the link for the mod itself, and here's the link for the leaderboard. Um, and then here, this will probably help too. If you want to show this on stream, uh, Ember. I put the screenshot from the thing. So you and Leo have basically been competing. Yeah, amongst other people. There's, there's a few other people. Like PJ uh, <laughs> has been throwing up some time. Darkness, who like quit the game for a little while, like showed up today to like <laughs> to play the game and smack a time. So it's kind of like I don't know, re-interested some people in. Uh, oh yeah. In, in things because speed running, uh, speed running culture is itself a, a definite thing, especially if you're within uh, capability of doing it. Yeah, I mean, I feel like there's definitely some where like you don't need to be overpowered, and it's more like you probably though need sprint six, I would say, right? Like, oh, almost, almost definitely. I mean, if it's you want, if you really running. want to speed run. You may not need to be high, depending on the mission, you might not need to be able to, like, one-shot things, right? You might not need damage, depending on the mission. But you definitely need need the movement. But if you can if you can get yourself Sprint 6, there's definitely missions where it's literally just, um, you know, movement and, and timing. 
Um, oh yeah, he fixed the leaderboard too. A bunch of the mad the missions in the leaderboard are now uh, sorted correctly. I'm still hard. super proud of selected memories because I have that at 56 seconds. Well, I see the, the first one there, the read the SMS from your faction is at seven seconds. So it's like, okay. That's like, <laughs> that's like the first one you get. <laughs> get that. Can you can you throw up the leaderboard on the stream? Yeah, that's why I have. Uh, oh, you, well, you have the, the image. screenshot. Yeah. But I put the link in the um, in the chat. Yeah, for the release, but I put a link of the actual leaderboard. Can can you throw the leaderboard on the stream? Yeah, give me one second. Selected Memories is that mission in Capratian Fangs where you have to duck into the lair and uh, like find the document. Do you, anyone remembers that mission? It's uh it's not ringing a bell. No? It's one of the few missions that sends you into a lair. Like you have to sneak because there's no way you're fighting anything in there. Oh, okay. There we go. That, okay. You said in Carpathian. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, no, I think I think that was which one you're talking about now. Okay. But yeah, fifty six seconds is the record and that's mine on that mission. <laughs> nice. I think it's the fastest time I have for any um that was a crazy run but yeah if you look at the leaderboard it's got different sections different zones and there's like an unknown which is just kind of like a catch-all for anything it doesn't know what to do with um but yeah he right, resorted them, see pj you know. up there pj with the fastest yep, yep. Garth gartha run yeah yeah Jimmy. 329 350 is my new personal best i just did the other night actually because my Prior best was like 352, 53. Uh, I'm not really surprised though. <laughs> PJ with the, the flex emo. Uh, Get it. PJ. I'm not really surprised because uh, both Darkness and PJ are uh, KSR. Like, I'm a pistol main. I'm not going to do the burst damage that they are at max IP. You know, that's just the simple truth of the matter. So they, I see PJ is basically trying to do every single mission they can. There's chasing bad luck. He's the only one on that one on that list. <laughs> Mask well, of the Oni, PJ that, is the only one on the message. That message to hell, he's the only one there. That just happened today uh, because uh, Secret Fox updated the mod to track side missions. Oh, chasing right, right, right. Chasing bad luck yes. is Foon. The side mission we have to find Foon. Which is horrible RNG. Which is a horrible mission, yeah. <laughs> it's horrible RNG. <laughs> So finding 50 seconds, he's like, right when you first enter. No, I think he said he had to look around for him a bit, actually. I'm pretty sure you can do it faster than that. I've I've walked in the door. He wasn't? He was like okay. Literally right there. No, I think PJ said, told me earlier he was in the back. 50 seconds is actually a long time to run around the game. It's, it's, it, it's, I, I would, I would guess, like, you potentially if you got like the perfect spawn could get like a i don't know like a 10 or 15 second run i would say i would say i think you can get like a 10 second run like if you can basically one shot him when you find him and you find him right inside the door because he has a spawn point there you could get a really fast run potentially but the RNG of that is so crazy. So crazy. I've, I think I've only caught him at that location maybe once, and I was like, what's he doing here? <clears throat> Most times I have to run around the entire place, right, to find Bob him. You have to chase bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Acceptable. I'm gonna go for the. Uh, I'm gonna go for the the longest time. Leo's crazy person. He has timed runs in Kaiden on Nightmare and the Dream. Mission is twenty twenty four minutes. Nightmare in the Dream Palace is a crazy long mission. 
That's where like you know you refight the three bosses. Yep, yep, and, and that's that's a, the, and then you have to uh, right in drunk. between you're walking very slowly. You get the drunk walk. <laughs> like there's all mm -hmm. kinds of shit. At least in um, at least in TSW, like you could like at least for a little while, anyways, you could kind of cheese it. And if you had the rocket launcher, it would let you use and you could drunk like rocket launch forward and like it didn't take quite as long. But uh, yeah, we've been going we've been going back and forth a bunch of us now. And like I said, it's it's actually bringing other people in. The one that's crazy to me is uh, Creasehurst. Uh, the new Dawn tab, public enemy number one, a minute, 14 seconds. Leo and I are, like, I'm I'm milliseconds faster than Leo. We both have a time of a minute 25. If you hover your mouse over the time, I believe, it's supposed to show you the milliseconds or something. Yeah. I think mine's like 85. Mine's 85.089. This is 85.437. <laughs> like... That it, the the difference in our times is crazy, like small, and then it's amazing. You know, at that at that point, you're going with like server lag possibility. You start you start getting into milliseconds. Like that that's when lag. It's like milli of milli. Play. Yeah, it's it's just it's insane. But uh, Christmas a minute fourteen, and I think they said they think they can still shave like two seconds. I'm like, I don't know what the hell you're doing. I I tried really hard. <laughs> I thought a minute twenty five was fast. They also got two forty three on Falfell and Gideon. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Cause I beat digital digital wraith like by milliseconds and then they came in and, and just spanked that time. I don't know what the hell they're doing in Falfell and Gideon. Well, that's the fun of speedrunning, is uh, you, you try to break the game to try to, you know, to, to, to find the locations where you can kind of cheese the game oh. to uh, to get the best results. If you look at Solomon Island, for a fistful of zombies, the very first mission you get from Jack Boone, right? We were going back and forth. I currently am, am beating Leo by a second. But, like... Uh, <laughs> but it's super tight. 44 seconds for that first mission. And Leo has 45. <laughs> <laughs> well, his is at um, 44.953. Leo's? Yeah, for Fistful of Zombies. I think it rounds up. And yours gotcha, is, gotcha. Yeah, yours is at 44.147. Yeah. Well, it's still about a second difference, I think, right? Or no? Mm, not even. Yeah. Because he's like 50 milliseconds, 50 from being actually 45. Oh, I guess it's less. You're right. Still, like I said, really close. Really, really close time. I was really happy when I spent his time there. PJ doing the side mission. He's like the only one I think that did the side missions because that the mod just got updated today to do So you can see that neither snow nor rain nor zombies. He's got a 12 second and a 9 second. Because I think, isn't it the same name for like the two missions? Maybe three missions? You know where you deliver the mail? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah two, I two of them had the same. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure though. I'm not positive, but I think the third one that's over where you deliver to um, the junkyard guy, I think that one might have the same name as well. It's, it's a mailbox delivery one. But those two are right next to each other, the 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 first two. But for um, Madame Rochette and the and the church. But anyways, yeah. It's uh, it's it's pretty fun. 
That's pretty fun. And like I said, you even if you don't want to, like, you don't have to upload your stuff to the leaderboard. There's an option to, like, uncheck, oh, like, upload. Uh, if you don't feel like putting your name on the board. You could honestly use this mod just to see how long missions take you and uh, maybe gauge the efficiency of what missions you're running for daily challenges or something, you know? It could be used for other purposes besides just competition. Yeah, like you could, yeah. I mean, you could compete versus yourself and not worry about the uh, the leaderboard. Just oh, yeah. Because it'll, it'll show you your, your um, prior times. So you can, you can just try and improve your own time. And like I said, I, I think another really good use for it is just seeing um, uh, how long things are taking you. you know, and then you can kind of figure out, well, like, you know, these missions take me like five minutes apiece. I'm going to run these for my dailies instead of the other mission that takes like nine, you know? But you can kind of uh, make your dailies a little more efficient potentially. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's good fun. And it's kind of nice to see it like reinvigorate some people back in the back into like actively playing the game too. I say, well, we have seen a lot of people um, pick up the game, and we'll probably see more as we get closer to to the, uh, Halloween. To the Halloween season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially with Moons of Madness. Um, well, right now in uh, in where's it in San Diego, at TwitchCon, Funcom is there at TwitchCon. They are at booth eighteen eighteen. Uh, from this weekend, September 27th to the 29th. And if you're going to TwitchCon, if you're at TwitchCon, you can play Conan Chop Chop, Moons of Madness, and Conan Exiles. Say, uh, come say hi, try out some awesome games, and get free stuff. Someone give me free stuff. Okay, yeah, if anyone <laughs> wants to get us free stuff, by all means. I actually know someone going to TwitchCon. I should actually tell them to go out there and possibly get something for me. Huh. One of those, well, uh, I wonder. Moons of Madness shirts. <laughs> I wonder if he would. Damn it! I should have yelled at Verb when I saw him on stream yesterday. <laughs> yeah, be like, go, 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 get some of this Funcom stuff. Yeah, get us all the loot if you're going. Uh, and also tell us how Moons of Madness is because that's going to be coming out near the end of October. Um, they said on on Halloween, maybe maybe before Halloween. I don't know. Uh, but. Uh, Moons of Madness, and I think Moons of Madness will actually propel a lot more people to be playing Secret World again. As they hear, like, oh, Moons of Madness is in the Secret World universe? Well, what's, what's Secret that? World? Yeah. I've told quite a few people recently about Secret World, proselytizing about it, and be like, no, if you haven't played it, go, go play it. Just play it. It's 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 its own beast. The game yeah, unlike any other. Oh. Speaking of that, Do you, yes. guys, you guys know about the, the drag and drop of abilities, right? Because we no. kind of talked about some new player stuff and everything. And uh, it came to my attention uh, that even even people with thousands of hours in the game don't necessarily know some stuff. Um, so if you bring up your abilities screen, like you hit N and bring up your abilities tab. Right. Uh, okay. You have like the equip button right where you can like pick an ability and then hit like unequip or equip and pick the slot but is everyone aware that you can just hold down left on a like on like say uh an ability and just drag it down to your bar or on whatever square you want yes <laughs> okay <laughs> then you can drag them around on the bar to change what key they're on yeah yeah okay not everyone knows yeah. that. Oh, I I knew, but I don't know if anyone else knew that. Right? That uh, yeah, that you can you can move stuff around. You can. Uh... The equip button bothers the hell out of me, and 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 this is something that I've noticed with the new players. That... I, I was actually I was I was actually kind of wondering. I was like, what equip button is he talking about? I didn't even know the equip button was actually there. I've been dragging the entire time since day one. <laughs> so if you click an icon and click equip. Then it'll come up like a little bar with like the six slots, and you pick which one, and it puts. Yeah. I've seen multiple new streamers in the past month be only dealing with their abilities that way, and it's very cumbersome. Like you have to know it is where it's you're trying to put it on. Yeah. It's not it's not very like intuitive. Uh, now there was one streamer whose resolution was such that actually drag and dropping was kind of a problem. He had to like move the the screen up because 
but he couldn't see his ability bar. Like, it, his resolution was too small. Um, so, like, the end window isn't resizable. It came up and filled the screen. <laughs> So oh, no. I, I did I did eventually like you know get him to like drag the window up enough that he could see the ability bar and, and drag and, and and stuff. But the equip button, you know, made a little more sense for him, I guess, just screen wise. But uh Well, yeah, it's, it's glad more, it's there. It's just other options really. Yeah. But it's one of those things that like once you know you can drag and drop and it, and that you can drag and drop them on the bar below, like it changes your world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because you can even, you, you can change them on the bar. It, you don't, I mean, they're passives. It doesn't really matter what point they're at, but you can well, the organize too. them a little more. The yeah, and too, the actives, though. well, the actives especially on your bar, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was more referring to than the passives. It's the, the actives, you can you can flip which, which button they're bound to, like, you know, super easily. Um, so that's not apparently common, necessarily common knowledge. Not only have I seen a number of new streamers in the past month that got into the game and had no idea that that was a thing, and once I told them that, they they were very ecstatic about it. But uh, I don't really want to throw out names, but some well-known players with with many 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 hours in the game also didn't know that was a thing. It happens. It happens. Um. It reminds me of uh, one of my favorite clips. There was a clip of, um, it's also a little while ago. It was a, a streamer who was playing um, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And they played, a, they played most of the game. And then they found themselves somehow in the tutorial dungeon. Like they just chose a direction and went. And were just really enjoying themselves. And then came back. And we're like, wait a minute, this was like the first tutorial dungeon I was supposed to go through? This was like, like the first basic one? And they were blown away at stuff like, wait, like I can like I can I can block stuff? Like wait, I can I can do like a backflip? <laughs> like <laughs> I feel like that's a bit like our coded and unconquered experience together, my <laughs> It was indeed we're like, wait a minute, how do that we build first stuff? run through we was like stuff? Dude, we did crazy good crazy good because we're not doing I, anything <laughs> I've, I've like look we went farther than like um andy and nicole who were playing no like knowing like that you, you should be building a marketplace and knowing you, you know what i mean yeah like, and researching stuff we with the bare minimum scraps we made it farther <laughs> like we, <laughs> <laughs> Which is raw, raw RTS tactics. We made it farther. I say, like, I think just, that's off. Of, that's off of my Twitch channel. That that's all on yours. You you clipped that, right? I think so. You highlighted that. I hope so. Because that, that was before I, before I realized the Twitch trick of highlight the entire thing and yeah, you know, save saved forever. Save, always saved. Yeah, that's what I do for like my my themed runs. You know, like a first person playthrough or the know you want to play through. Yeah. I, I usually like archive those, like highlight the whole things and make them a collection. Just be like, yeah, this is a highlight. It's the entire stream. It's, yeah, it's highlight. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I mean, I, I feel like we definitely did that. We had that, that same kind of, because I went back in the game after that. You know, I actually, I actually finished a Conan and Conquered. And it's like, oh my God. This is what you're. This is how you're supposed to. This do. is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> um. So you know, kudos, kudos to the both of us for getting as far as we did on on as little as we <laughs> on, on we zero had. knowledge. Yeah. Like, like we, it was so fun to play it that way, though. I got to be honest. It was so fun to to play it with like not really knowing what you're doing. <laughs> uh, That's the way I go into every game, to be honest, and uh, I always enjoy it. So. <laughs> Yeah, so like I, I, I love finding out in games like to figure it out as I go along. Like that's part that's part of the puzzle. That's part of the fun of games is figuring out as you go along. I recently finished Mutant Year Zero, and then including the DLC. Nice, uh, nice. I'm still maybe one, halfway one, through that. One of my uh, subs gifted the DLC to me, which was very nice. So I streamed the DLC as well, and it wasn't until like three quarters of the way through the first game, like the you know the, the main game. Then I realized the middle mouse button lets you change the tier, like bottom, like bottom floor, mid floor, upper floor. So basically, whenever I was in combat and someone was like, uh, had started combat up on on something to collect, I never could get them down because I didn't know to move to the floors. grid 
yeah, you use the mid the middle mouse scroll to, to like change your direct. You know, I want to put them down, you know, or climb up in combat. Right, like, right. I, yeah, all my fights were, were like, oh no, really? Like, yeah, three quarters of the way of the game, I did not realize that like all my people that have like grenades or or a ground effect, I just thought they had to use them on the ground. They were never up high. And oh no! There's down. even that one character that can just jump around and yeah, no. Nope. You know. I, okay, I was really confused how wings were supposed to work because my guy could never fly because <laughs> I couldn't place the thing up. It was so, so sad. Yeah, yeah know, there are levels. No, the, a... I think one of the real times I discovered levels was when I killed a boss that was on a level, but it was like he jumped to a point and, uh, and I killed him up there and he dropped loot and it was like, well, now I can't get up there. Like, how do I get up there? Because there was no... Uh, it was at a point where there wasn't like any um any actual way to get up there aside from using a combat ability right and so it was like it was stuck like i couldn't climb a um i couldn't climb a ladder i couldn't get anywhere up to where that where this uh, person actually was and they dropped loot so i actually had to go find someone else on the screen like enter into combat and then basically run away still in <laughs> combat into the other side of the the map so i could use the ability to jump on that location <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good idea. I literally lost loot that way, like permanently. Like the last guy in the zone died up on top of a fucking. Oh yeah, no. If the last guy dies, you're screwed because yeah, there's no one else yeah. to enter combat into with. But this, thankfully, yeah. there was a couple other. There was a couple other mobs still on the still still in the, the zone that I could have. Uh, uh, that yeah, like you you walk close to them and you sneak into combat, and then you just run away and just go do the abilities. <laughs> yeah, it's uh. It was my, you know, one of those dope moments, right? We're like, God, like, but also kind of like, wow, I've made it this far in the game and won all these fights with, like, basically one hand tied behind my back. You know what I mean? Right, without even realizing that this is possible. It happens. It happens. I mean, yeah, yeah there, there are plenty of games where you're like, wait a minute, I can do this? And in older games, it's not so much a thing, because older games were very punishing and either you did if you didn't know how to do something what the hell are you looking at <laughs> tasha's uh, uh timeline <laughs> also I look over at the stream and there's like a cat in the middle of the stream <laughs> that's a fun comment. also i want to point that's out that you guys are nowhere near where the characters on my screen that say you are like on the on the stream it shows that ember's standing right in front of you right on my screen, he's standing right behind you. He's on my ground. screen, he's on the ground behind me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, there's some like it's like when you it's like when you're in um, Onk Boss Six and you look over and you're like, why is my teammate standing in the filth and not dying? And like they're not, you know what I mean? Like they're up on the platform, but there's a desync and it's just showing them like off the platform, standing in the pool of filth. Yeah, you're like, what are you standing there for? I'd be like, I'm not. <laughs> How are you not dead? <laughs> it's a better question, usually. Magic. Uh, um, and I, I, I will say I found a new game, like a non-Funcom game, sadly. I found a new game to play. That it Which one? Par apparently made just for me. It's called Hot Lava. Uh, I've heard about that. <laughs> Like a, just picture an, okay. an entire right. game that's just lava game, like it's pretty amazing. I'll, I'll send you like a link or something after the show. It's like I say, yeah, I don't know this one. It's uh, it's got some amazing '80s like uh, cart like bad cheese cartoon stuff, and you can collect like uh, like comics in the game. They're 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 horribly great. They're horribly great. Oh, by the way, Ember, mm -hmm. we are we are twins in this. Uh, I also got Faragas Abergas uh, on this run. What the shit? Oh yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> I think Ember, what are you watching? <laughs> I think I think Ember needs like is signaling that it's time for the show to it, to it line just up. just might be. 
Uh, just to point out the last thing, the last piece of news I had, didn't really well, get to this, because it's Conan Exiles. On Twitter. Uh, was at Conan Exiles. They had a dev stream this week where they previewed a new dungeon. Today? They also previewed something else. Yes. They also previewed uh, possible possible mounts going into Conan Exiles. But they didn't actually announce it, but they, they teased it. They, they literally uh, put it up at like as in the last three seconds of the stream. The guy rides by... And the stream ends. Like, it, it, I was there, and the chat was hilarious. Like, the chat scrolled for, like, five minutes after the stream ended. Uh, can you can you bring it up? Uh, remember? Yeah, uh... I posted the link to, uh, to your Twitter post. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else managed to clip it or, or, or anything, but I, I, I made a gif out of it just because I thought it was... I saw right underneath the uh, um, the their post for the dev stream itself, where they where they posted that. Someone immediately underneath that posted a picture of uh, of it, but not not a GIF. Yeah. Imagine yeah. when they uh, when they import some Conan mounts into SWL. That right. will probably happen. <laughs> that's a that's a big horse. That will most likely happen, or possibly even the other way around. Right, Maybe because if they like have those horse. things, like we could possibly see draft horses, because that's that's definitely a draft horse. Uh, that we could possibly see draft horses come the other direction as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh wait, that's that's what you actually said. That's what said. But, <laughs> but like I'm saying, like, the other way around. Here I am picturing like hoverboards in in yeah, Conan. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there could be like <laughs> fire demon horses or something in Conan Exiles. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No. I was I was thinking Conan the other direction. Yeah. I was thinking of uh, of all the stuff that we already have in Secret World already like put into Conan Exiles or scooters. <laughs> I, I kind of don't think they're gonna do that for for Conan. Like, <laughs> Possibly not. I don't see any bumblebee uh, scooters going on. Yeah. Probably. Probably not. Exiles swimming around on the glider. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I most there's and it's funny. That's been a to, that was a topic in the Discord, the official Discord, uh, I think a day or two ago. It was like um, stuff that affects the tone of the game, and I don't have a problem with any of the stuff in Secret World because I feel like reality is cracking. The world is the world. Not only is the world ending, but like reality is essentially like on the verge of ending. So everyone being batshit crazy is totally kind of is, is in in character. Yeah, like <laughs> if if you if it's it's the end of literally everything. The, people are literally losing their mind. If you want to run around in a in a you know a horse mask with a with an AK and 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 ride a goddamn moose down the street, like <laughs> that's your deal. You know what I mean? Like. If everyone they're like to, who are we to stop this person? If everyone wants to, if everyone wants to dress like they're on the boardwalk in Venice Beach or something, you know, like it's not that big of a deal. However, I feel like Conan Exiles is a little bit different. Like they take is, that a little more seriously, yeah. Little, well, if nothing else, the time frame, right? Like you have some crazy clothes, but they need to be like time appropriate. God, Moose is right, sticking his butt everywhere. Uh, I think Bloodwood might be referring to Dreaming Wolf. <laughs> Say Farmer says, or if you just want to be a giant bird. I mean, yeah. you know. Right. But see, a giant bird would actually make more sense in Exiles, right? Because there could potentially be a giant bird. But most of the other stuff doesn't make sense, like, uh, time period-wise. I think that would be, like, the bigger problem. I don't think Code Exiles is necessarily a problem, but, like, z- the zany it takes, stuff. It's a little say? more serious. I think the game itself takes itself a little more seriously. <laughs> Uh, yes, like yeah, it's secret Secret World is kind of like, you know, I, I think all MMOs at a certain time, at a certain point, reach this kind of stage where stuff just gets, uh, it gets a little silly, it gets a little bit, you know. I think honestly, it's been a again, it's because it's set in the modern era. It's been a little bit like that from the jump, and I, and I think you know, right, yeah, correctly so. But I will say, Code Exiles, you can you can teabag someone like for real, so they're. <laughs> You know, that was a lot of people's number one draw in the beginning. It wasn't uh, sliders? Well, yeah, the slider. So they, then you can teabag someone. You know, it was that... And crazy. see some, yeah. Have yeah, some yeah. physics going on while you do it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can literally kill someone and jump on their face. 
<laughs> with your with your thing hanging out like that's that was a huge draw for the PvP crowd who've been doing that in other games all along, but not with <laughs> not with the full weight of it, if you will. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I don't think Conan Exiles is immune to like funny stuff necessarily. I oh I think what was the other thing? They've purposely said they're not going to fix it. If you if you uh, I think it's like if you super damage something, it kind of like goes flying. And it's really funny when you do it to like giant animals. Like if you if you massively like your last hit massively uh puts the, the thing into like negative like you can send a mammoth like fucking skyrocketing across the map. Nice. Because it just it has like a, a weird effect. Which looks more normal when you like cleave a hyena, right? And you're like, yeah, okay. I just obliterated it and now it kind of went flying like four feet but when it's scaled up and happens on a large creature it's really really funny it's really funny and they've they've said like it's i mean doesn't look remotely like, real is this broken nope nope not broken they're like yeah we're not fixing that that's just too funny we're not they've yeah. on multiple dev streams they're like staying no, put no. yeah it's just too funny to fix so i feel like they do have a sense of humor and there's definitely some uh, there's some like you know kind of funnier outfits and stuff, but you're just you're just not gonna see. I think like you know, I don't think you'll see stuff that doesn't make sense in the in the era. If that makes sense. Whereas Secret World is a little like it's the current era, so kind of everything's fair game. You can grab anything ancient up to now. You know, every every costume is a, is you know, essentially fair game. That's true. Because it all exists, right? Like even if and it's... we're and we're all time travelers at this point. Well, that too. Oh yeah. I mean, that's how like... we're able to keep going back and doing the same missions over again. Keep sending us <laughs> to the same point in time. And Kingsmith has always been just before Halloween. Yeah. Time time doesn't change in Kingsmith. Period. The time is now eleven eleven. That happens in the Orochi Tower. And now, whenever I see my clock at eleven eleven, that like voice echoes in my head. <laughs> You're like Lilith. The time is now eleven eleven. I what show, what show did I just finish? Um, I just finished watching, uh, the, the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, on mm -hmm. Netflix. And uh, a little 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 spoiler here, um, but uh, at the end of the first season. It's revealed that the like one of the antagonists is Lilith. Ah, I don't even know. I don't even know if they reveal that at the end of the first season. It might just be like maybe even halfway through. But it's revealed that yeah, this uh, this sudden like big bad out of nowhere that kind of knows everything but is detached from everyone turns out to be Lilith. And I was like, oh, I know Lilith. <laughs> <laughs> you mean kiss the killer lucky? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> And oddly enough, they're kind of played relatively similar. They're not exactly similar, but, uh, you know, that whole um, older motherly sort of right. persona or that older motherly sort of style, they're sort of played almost exactly the same way. And so I'm kind of wondering, like, because obviously uh, Secret Worlds of Lilith came first. So I'm kind of wondering, like, you know, did they actually take it from Secret World? It's possible. Not maybe not probable, but it's it's possible. That could be some influence for sure. Like, I think I think the nature of the like just the legend that you know the motherly thing is definitely right. Like the sort sort of like mother of the mother of monsters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's like kind of um staple. Yes, Lilith has been around a long time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, but still, it's still like it, it could be similar in tone. Like it's you know. Someone may have seen the game. So, because I remember, like, you know, when they when they did that in the show, I was just like, she's like, he's like, who are who, like, who are you? And she's like, I'm Lilith. I was like, <laughs> I'm like, that's amazing. But it's only more amazing because I played Secret World. This is pretty great. Because otherwise, I've been like, who? Who? Who is that? Lilith. What? Yeah, who is yeah, she? I, I think I would know. I think I would know that, anyways. But it would have less of uh, impact 
I, I do agree. Like just just having played the like, secret role, that it, it does have like a little more. I feel like you know a little bit more about Lily. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it, it has it has a little bit more of an effect of like, oh no, these people are screwed. Yeah, yeah. Like I think I generically knew of Lilith as like an entity, like in in you know, legend or whatever. But like, it's not quite the same, not quite the same connotation, or or, or like level of information, at least me personally. It's like yeah. So I feel in the show they really like dropped that bomb. It was kind of like I you know this is who she is, and right like I. I I must feel like if I didn't have that foreknowledge, which I I, I haven't been a big study of uh, religion in the first place, I'll admit that. Um, so you know, it, if I hadn't played Secret World and I didn't know who that was, it'd be like I'm Lilith. I'd be like, who? Like, <laughs> right? Like, like, all right, so, so whatever. All right, good for you. Like, yeah, okay, all right. But 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 because I played it, it has that like that extra drop of like, <gasps> oh no, carved into your reptilian yeah <laughs> brain. I was like, oh, it's beautiful. I was like, well, now I have to watch everything of this show. <laughs> it's a good show though. I liked it. They they played everything up nicely. Cool. Cool. So yes, highly suggest. <laughs> anyway, so I think that's all the news that we have for you in this zero point report bi weekly show. So anyone else got anything? We still got uh Vomer, the, the big old zero point bird with us. Thank you, Vomer, for joining us. Yes, thank you. On our Madcap like, adventures. Like on command, he like wiggles. Like and I know that's a random uh, idle animation. But you said thank you for joining us, and the bird wiggles. Which it's like, just... thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, it's not every day. You, you get to, you get to uh, do the do a, a cult defense with a flag. And I got That's... so many, so many achievements for doing this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Yeah, right. I think I think there's achievements for the different titans too, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've looked. I got achievements for defender, hired security, for the just a number of pure waves. Yeah, I think I think you might not have almost. I'm it. one away from simulated adaptation. One away from defeating each type of special enemy. Sappers, only ones I'm missing. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, we under... actually, I don't know if we beat those before After level 20. Under advancement, right, got up to 15th level. Killed a special while it had the effect under the radar. <laughs> wow. That flying low. You, I think you got your bad person, right? I got that one too. I didn't even see that one uh, on the list there. Where I killed uh, the 250 hell mate. soldiers. Got got up there uh, another one on uh, another tier of hell soldiers and revenants. All around a good run. Yeah, yeah. I'm and still I still didn't get the one caught in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> the one I actually really tried for. I'm still missing combo. It's the only one on the accomplishments page I don't have is because it's be hit by charged lightning while standing in the acidic pool and snared by strange tractor while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can see where that one would be tricky. Uh, I don't have that one yet. Um, I, I need I need right, to be you're, a tank. You're a bad person, right? Got that too. Yeah, yeah, that's for like killing someone with the with the bomb. So, yeah, I, 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 I still the big thing I have to work on though is uh, I need the thousand defense scenarios. And I need the five thousand waves, and unfortunately yeah, just... they're kind of at odds with each other. Like what I've been doing is literally just like doing wave one, not looting, quitting out, doing wave one again. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, either that, because you know, in order to make them equal, you'd have to basically do up to wave five every single time. Yeah, yeah. So, well, 
my waves is at 1134, but my scenarios is only at 481. So they're already like way out of whack. Uh, so I've been just doing like single waves and quitting out. Yeah, so just, get, just get the one and do the other. Because otherwise you have to run, yeah. It, it have them hit at the same time, you have to do like almost 10 waves. <laughs> yeah. I don't need them at the same time, but like the thousand scenarios gives you like uh, a pretty cool emote. Um, which I believe if, so I know some people that have it. Manga Spirit has it. I think to Tommy has it. The thousand waves? The. No, no, a thousand occult defense scenarios, which is like a different defense scenario means you 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 like did any you number did, of waves you just did it, yeah. left, right? Whereas waves, you can do twenty waves in one scenario. Um, but yeah, if you do, if you arcane do, channeling, arcane the channeling, moment. which is like um, you sort of like float up in the air and like glow, like you're like you turn your eyes like. Up and your like your eyes glow, like your hands glow, like you're sort of having like a power gasm <laughs> floating in the air. Like it looks pretty cool. Is it sort uh, of like when you do the um uh what's what's that ability in uh in elementalism? Eh, I know what you mean. Um, overload. Overload. Yeah, you kind of do this floating so up in the air, exploding sort of thing. Do you remember uh, in TSW the secondary anima teleport animation? Not off the top of my head. No. Yeah. The, no. So the, the main one is like you do like the T pose, right? Like you, right. Uh, yeah. You do the T pose. And then the loyalty reward system, they have like a secondary one where you see people, um, like it's like bees, and you rise up like differently, kind of like overload. And then you like just shoot down, I think, to the floor or something. It, it was like the bee, like the bees came up and, and you like kind of floated in the air. It was a different port animation, which for some reason we don't have. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't even know that one. I never even saw that. No, not the black pool under you, Blood Red. That black pool was the Lorenzian fabricator to. I like that one too. We don't have that one either. But the one I'm talking about is an alternate, uh, is an alternate anima teleport one. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Anyways, arcane channeling. I think actually, if you if you Google it or something, like they, I believe there's someone like they tweeted a picture of uh, when they how when they announced something. They they showed it off in in. Uh, Maybe in the pre in the trailer for Call Defense or for Equinox, they show it. It got showed off, shown off at some point. And as I said, I know a few people that have it. I don't. So that I'm trying to go for the thousand scenarios, but five hundred and nineteen to go. <laughs> That's good luck. At three and a half minutes. At scenario, three and a half minutes each. Yeah. <laughs> plus 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 zoning out and zoning in. It's two thousand minutes. 2,000 minutes is uh, 200 by 6, 100 by 3. 33 hours? So you say it like that, and I don't think it's that bad, but it feels worse. <laughs> that's, that's, how I, that's how I calculated your uh, defeating the behemoth. <laughs> it's so it's off by a little bit. It's, it might, like... it's off. It's off, but it's a good estimation. Well, that's less than yeah, a week. I, spent, I, I did 10K Paduri in 10 days, and I think that was like you know 10 hours a day. So you know what I mean? Like, 33 hours, honestly, for me, doesn't really even seem like that much. It's just like you can finish I, that I before to... the end of the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not quite that. But not I mean, quite as bad. No, no, no. I have. I'm not saying actually do it. I'm not. Too. You know, I'm not actually trying to get you killed. <laughs> I mean, that would be kind of funny to do for like I don't know, like an extra live stream. Do <laughs> 24 hours of cult defense. <laughs> gonna watch me get this get this achievement. Right, you're gonna watch me get this achievement that's right you're gonna sit here and watch <laughs> just figure out where it's 24 hours away and you'll be like <laughs> right i mean kind of boring but also kind of fun <laughs> um maybe not in the beginning but near the end it'd be it'd be pure gold right kind of like the corn farm stream i was honestly super surprised how many people stayed well, actually, both for the corn farm stream and for the behemoth soloing stream. 
Uh, I have a surprising number of people that hung out for both of those. Because they were boring as shit. <laughs> right. It, but sometimes, I mean, I hate to say it, but sometimes those are the best streams. When, you, when you're basically subverting expectations for what the game actually wants you to do. Yeah. Well, I mean, like so, sometimes, sometimes those are the best. Like the FunCon stream was great because I was just in the corner doing it, and then they were doing other things. So I, I, I get like it's kind of funny to see me do it in the corner. But there was people hanging out in my stream, like just watching me hit the bo- giant behemoth with a bat for f- forty-five minutes straight. <laughs> like, um. I think I've got a clip of me figuring out how to like calculating that out, and I'm like, like I'm using my my Google Home in the in the process to do it. I'm just like, yeah, like wait a minute, how do this? Like how how long would this take? And in the end, it's like, it's like yeah, it take about you know, like an hour. I'm like, oh, it's totally doable. Yeah, it's ridiculously yeah. doable. Yeah, no, it was, it was. It was more like a like a uh, endurance thing. You know what I mean? Oh, like, totally. what, What's his face? What's the magician? Blaine? Uh, David Blaine, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not really a trick. It's just sort of like doing something for it's stupid for an insanely long period of time. Like, like, it's like the, you like, would never do this, but I yeah. will. Like, oh, yeah. okay. That's cool. Yeah, let's check this out. Two hours of farming corn straight to like uh, electro swing music. <laughs> like, I remember <laughs> Nervell came in the stream and was like, I did not expect this. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, and why not? Uh, uh, so, you know. Farmer says that we wish we had all the alternate teleportation animations to choose from. Like, right, we have yeah. different sprints, we have different pets. That could be another thing to choose yeah, from. Teleportation animations. I think what it was, if I, rem- if I remember... I'm trying to remember in TSW. I don't think you could. I don't think you could pick. But I think it was like. I don't remember now. I don't know if you could pick. I I thought it was like if you picked. Um. You know how we have two Agartha teleports. Like you have Agartha conduit and Animal Warp. Yes. They have yeah. different cooldowns. I think that. One of those was changed in TSW to like the other method or something like that. I thought. Probably, and I mean that goes along with the right the Laurentian fabricator. Right, that was its own item, its own specific too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gave the animal or teleport. So no, so you had to have that to get the second port. You had to be loyal to have the loyalty, and that gave you that unique teleport, which looked really cool. And then yeah, like Laurentian fabricator animation was tied to the item. So I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's an issue with. I mean, I honestly, I would guess there's an issue with just letting you pick the animation, potentially. Potentially, yeah. Uh, since that one default animation is kind of used for everywhere. Um, but yeah, it would be cool. I, I it is kind of like sad to not have those. Uh, I I used to love the the Lorenzo Fabricator one, the Kaido. When you disappeared in a black pool, like lightning filth. That was yeah, pretty I sweet. Those, yeah. I actually have one of those items in this game. It's in my bank. For some dumb reason, they were dropping in the Kaiden lair in the beginning. I don't know. I couldn't tell you why. I assume uh, a glitch or something. <laughs> you always got to keep those, right? Like, yeah. this, this broke the game. Be like, good, I'm storing it forever. Yeah, I mean, there's no way they should have been dropping from, from enemies in Kaiden Lair. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how the hell that happened. That's not how you got the Fabricator in the first place. So I really don't know what went wrong there. But uh, even even with base space, I've, I've hung on to that because I just think it's funny. So on tonight's show, uh, we did the Envoys of Avalon event, which is currently going on until the 5th of October. And will be free this weekend. In the morning. And it will be free keys this weekend, so it will be the perfect time for Jimmy to come in and do the one runs, because every run (laughs) that he does will be able to give him keys. So if you do 10 runs, you'll get 10 different chest keys. 
because usually you only get a couple. You only get uh, a handful. Is it like three keys? Three? Yeah. three or... Yeah, it's three. It's three a day. Shift L. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, three scenario keys a day. And uh, is, that, is that extra? I mean, you can always that, pay them off to open the to open the chest if you run out of keys, but it's like 1,500 moth. Oh, it 1, is. 000. One bonus scenario key per day. So even for, for non-patrons, it's uh, only two scenario keys per day. Right, right. What's funny is, like, when it goes, when it does, they do the free scenario key, like, your keys stay full. It's not like it drains your keys for the day and then does the buff. Just all the chests are free. So you keep looking at your screen and going, man, still three of three keys. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this again. Right? So, yeah, so you can come in, run one wave, get uh, get all the rewards you want from it. And that's this weekend starting Friday. I, I will say the more in? waves you run in succession, uh, the better the, the, the better the loot and the more types of loot. Meaning like... True. You'll get like talisman and and uh, uh, you know weapon distillates, signet distillates, things like that. Uh, better chance of aging, and then the main signet is amazing when it drops from here. Uh, you need to run like I think twenty waves in a row or twenty one for it to be like a practically a guaranteed drop. But it it's its drop rate goes up the more waves you do. I've gotten one from just doing like ten waves in a row. But the the main signet is the one that um goes where your wing signet would go in, in the wrist. Okay. And for me, it's maxed out. It increases the max number of targets hit by area abilities by 3 and increases damage by 28.75%. So the normal AOE uh, abilities hit 6 enemies at once. So I'm hitting 9 enemies at once. Which is just more much Which, more efficient yeah especially for a cult offense right because you i mean you saw the number of mobs we had so hitting nine at once is really good and then the damage for that aoe is up you know nearly 30 percent and that's made almost specifically for a cult yeah offense. it drops like, only from here yeah uh, so and, it's, it's kind of like there's a lot that uh you know that will improve especially cult offense Be like in the rest of the game i'm not sure exactly how much you uh know. well let's it's, just it's say useful in some situations Let's just say that KSR basically is all grenade damage, just all AOE. So you know how KSR is like top. Oh yeah, it's all AOE. Anyways, yeah. Well, now now it really is top meta because all is like if you're max KSR, all your damage just got buffed by thirty percent. Because pretty much, I mean not all, but the majority of your big hits come from the grenades, which are AOE hits. So all your grenades have have been up, you know, twenty eight point seven five percent, on top of hitting more targets. It's a real, it's a really good signet. It's good for everybody, honestly. And the wing signets aren't really useful. the The only other signet that goes there is the one that uh, either decreases your wing cooldown or increases your wing damage. Neither of which really matter like at all. Um, I suddenly so... have the image of like, uh, like somehow some someone making it so that like we can get on Vomer's back, and then doing like the the never ending story like Falcor <laughs> like yeah. I was trying that. I was tr like, what did we do, Vomer? I think I got on a, I got on the reindeer and it sort of worked. I want to say. I was trying to find something that was like the right height. Wait, can you not get on mounts in the cult defense? Probably not in the cult defense. Dang it. Yeah, I think I had got on uh, a reindeer. I think I got a screenshot of it somewhere. And uh, it looked really weird. It looked like it looked like the flappy had horns, but I was sort of looked like I was riding it. <laughs> so I was like the right height. So yeah, if it, if it goes to choose one of those, I'm just running around at normal normal pace yeah yeah it's it's so like it's like a like dungeon and stuff it's it's i want to say i'm trying to remember how what they said long ago in tsw but i i want to say it's because it looks like it's outside but it's not 
it's essentially a big room. Yeah, it's a yeah, it's an interior. It's an interior location. But we are right. technically because even still, we're in the uh, yeah, we're in the we're scenario, outside. Right? We're in the so, yeah. in the scenario, even, right? Even right. dungeons, I think uh, I I want to say that they're those instances are not technically open. So it has like a skybox, but it's not considered. I, I actually prefer uh, that. I actually really like when dungeons aren't actually dungeons. I like when dungeons are like can be outside as well. I mean, they look. Not too many games have that. They look outside, but like. But they have different your, rules. Yeah. yeah, you can't use your mount, which is a shame because especially back in TSW, I really wanted to hoverboard through the manufacturing dungeons. It would have been the best place to do that, but sadly, it was not possible. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we've gone, we've gone and gone and gone. Yeah, we've gone and gone and gone. Well, hopefully, it's all crazy. been interesting. Yeah. Uh, so, agents, uh, this has been the zero point report, strain zero six TFA. And uh, have you figured out what uh, what all of our letters mean? At the end of our strains. Um, you can catch us recording live every other Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time here on the Zero Point Report Twitch channel, where you can also join us and chat with us while we do the show live. Or download our show wherever podcasts are found so you can listen to us on the go. You can get in touch with us by engaging with us on Twitter at Zero Point Report, emailing us at the Zero Point Report at gmail.com, checking out previous shows on our YouTube channel, and joining us on our Discord server, both named the Zero Point Report. From all of us here at the Zero Point Report, we want to thank you for tuning in and wish you all the best from the secret world. Have a great night. Enjoy autumn. And see you next time. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. See you.